Hi there, idiots. Today well, I'm doing another tier list about the Smash Brothers. Huzz, huzz. So this is good because I love the Smash Bros. series. I'm experienced in the Smash Bros. series. More experienced uh, than your girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, let's get started, shall we? I don't know why they don't have an order, so let me just fix that real quick. <laughs> so yeah, let me just fix that. I'm... There you go. Perfect. Now, let's start with the original Smash Bros. The original Smash Bros, I'm sorry, I'm still going to have to give it a B. Uh, now, people might be like, oh my god, uh, that's too low or that's too high. No. Smash Bros, the original one being in B, is perfect because it has its own charms, but it still has its own flaws. You know what I mean? And obviously, it being the beginning, yes, that makes sense. You know? So, it, it like... Imagine if there was a world where this was the only concept of a, a multi, like, Nintendo franchise crossover fighter, you know? Imagine. Like, that's what I imagine. And then if we still had this game, I wouldn't be satisfied. Like, I would want more. But this is a good starting point to that, you know? This was the best way to gardener interest. Um, and the commercial was was also very creative. There's so many things about this game that I like. Uh, one is the fast and satisfying gameplay with at least the American version having the most satisfying sounds ever in a fighting game, if you want to call it a fighting game. Um, you know, I love how like it sounds like bowling pins getting knocked over or, you know, getting hit. <laughs> it's just so satisfying. And uh, the character roster, starting off at least, isn't really bad. And they're also going to have multiple others too. But they're like, okay, hold on. We need to chill out. We don't know if this is going to work yet, which was a silly concept, really. The thought of them thinking that this wouldn't work is the dumbest thing I ever thought of in my in my life. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's the dumbest thing. Uh, <laughs> who, who thought that this wouldn't work? <laughs> like, so, um... With that being said, though, they're going to have Bowser. They're even going to have, like, Banjo and Kazooie. They're going to have, um, uh, believe it or not, they were even thinking about putting the guy from um, from uh, James Bond, the, the GoldenEye, but that would be licensed hell, and I, I understand why they didn't. I completely understand why they didn't. But I freaking wish Nintendo did, though. That would have been, like, the first Solid Snake before Solid Snake came to Smash. You know what I mean? It would have just been perfect, in my opinion. Would have been perfect. But with that being said, though, Smash Bros, even uh, even with the lost uh, things that was going to have, including specials, yeah, specials were going to actually be in the first Smash Bros, but it, they cut it, obviously. Um, the, the thing is that it still ended up pretty good. And this is a good, again, good introduction to start off with at the time. But now there are m many other Smash Bros. There are many other ways to conveni conveniently like play Smash Bros. The newest ones, right? So, unfortunately, that's why it's at B. But I think again, B is pretty fair. So, let's get uh, get down to melee. So melee, um, this has not. You guys are gonna hate me for this, but this has never been my favorite one. Melee has uh, always felt a little bit weird to me, and that's fair. Look, to be honest, um, this game was rushed. Completely rushed. And anything good about it, admit it, was an accident. Or rushed. <laughs> so, the fact that, yes, it, it was nice that it had a completely different, like, overhaul on the combat and everything. Like, there's more characters, there's way deeper mechanics in the combat, um, like I said... And, uh, and yeah, there was adventure mode, a lot of features, uh, trophies, all that sort of stuff. The whole shebang. The problem is, I don't find it fun. Okay? Because, believe it or not, I don't want to do this, oh, uh, super uber dash, uh, 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 if you press R1 at the right time, uh, like that kind of stuff. And again, those were not even meant to be there. So any of those are completely accidental. But, to be fair, a lot of the deeper mechanics in a game are accidental. Too bad that a lot of the, the problems that come with Melee are also the imbalances of many characters. There are so many goddamn characters that have, like, horrible, uh, um, you know, miss missing hits. Like, they have missing hitboxes, that's what I mean. Or, like, their hitboxes go 
around the Z axis. You know how like Smash Bros is obviously going to the Y and X axis. Like it's a 2D game, right? It's a 2D platforming game. Well, some hitboxes are not even complete because they go only to the Z axis for some god given reason, right? So what that means is that they accidentally programmed some moves to miss because um because of them going to the Z axis, the 3D part of Smash Bros. It is so stupid. It is actually stupid. And that makes a lot of characters in Melee very uh, unplayable. Hell, even may like e even in um in what would be Melee's like most uh you know beloved scene like the um what you call it scene the competitive scene right people will still acknowledge that there are like only five usable characters bro only five good luck using the rest <laughs> uh so yeah uh in 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 a competitive sense is what I mean so yeah good luck good luck with that you're not gonna go very far if you're not a Marth or a Fox good luck. Or maybe Jigglypuff, but yeah. Again, good luck. So, Brawl is going to be an S tier for me. Yep, I know. Go ahead, p put your pitchforks or whatever. Eat my shit. I don't care. Brawl, out of every single Smash Bros, it, um, you know, Melee does have a lot of good single player content, and it was good for the time, and it was fair, okay? I'm not trying to talk shit about Melee when it comes to that. I'm talking shit about the others after Brawl when it comes to this. Brawl has the best single player content. It has many ways for you to do break the targets. It has a actual story mode with cutscenes and everything, um, and uh, it has thirty five characters with e with um, even other characters that are not playable, but like in a trophy form, all having representation in some way, shape, or form in Brawl in the most fair and balanced way possible. Now, the same can't be said for the game. I understand that, and I agree. Um, the stupid random tripping is garbage. Uh, I hate that. It's so dumb. Uh, uh, and then, uh, you also got the, um, like, the overpowered as hell characters, uh, because Sakurai was in an ego trip there or something. I don't know. Um, but to be completely fair to Brawl, that's not exactly its fault. Again, like, I know some of you may think, like, dude, it had seven years of development. That's actually not true. Uh, Brawl only had, like, around actually the same time, maybe a little bit more than Melee. That's it. <laughs> it's just that they had something to work off of, at least, for Melee. So that's why Brawl is a more, um, you know, polished experience. Meanwhile, Melee uh, is not. But, again, to be fair, they were making Melee from the original Smash Bros. It since, like, Brawl is a lot more... Um, like polished, they took from melee a lot of it, and you could see that, right? Like, yeah, obviously, uh, most of the characters play the same for the most part, except some differences here and there. Um, you know, uh, like except with better character models, I guess, right? Um, and then there are even like some other characters, like they stand the same and everything. So, yeah. Uh, but with that being said, though, again, Brawl has the best single player. It has decent enough gameplay for it to not be crap. And, um, and, and like, it just has a lot more of the things that you liked about Melee into it. Like, if you, if you like trophies, you're going to love them in Brawl. If you liked, uh, um, like, classic mode, you're going to love it in Brawl. Like, you know. And if you like adventure mode, then you sure as shit should love uh, the subspace emissary, you know. That actually has cutscenes and everything. Now, of course, the Subspace Emissary isn't perfect. Um, but, you know, if they combined it with the Smash Run on 3DS, with, with that type of gameplay, with the cutscenes and everything, it would have been perfect. Admit that. That actually would have been perfect. So, yep. It's an S-tier game. I don't care. It's still, like, one of the best represented uh, game in Smash Bros., like, again, what I mean by that, to be more specific before we move on, is that everyone gets, it's like, seven remixed songs, unlike Ma uh, unlike uh, Ultimate, where you'll, you'll have, like, 16 remixes of Mega Man, and then, like, maybe one or two from Sonic, you know what I mean? Like, something stupid like that. And then um, you'll get, like, uh, uh, two or three more Fire Emblem representation, but you'll, you will not get a single new con uh, Sonic character. Fuck off. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, it's stupid continuity errors like that that just, like, is really annoying about, it, about um, 
you know, Smash Ultimate. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to that one. Um, so, now we have Smash for 3DS. This is definitely an A tier, because I played a lot of uh, portables, you know, because I was going around a lot sometimes. So, uh, Smash, uh, like Smash 4 for the 3DS is actually pretty good. Um, it even has better features than the damn Wii U one, if I'm being honest. Um, and I played the 3DS one more because, again, it was like I could have sat in my bed and played it. I mean, well, no, you could do that with the gamepad. But again, you had so much better single-player content in there. You had Smash Run. You had a better classic mode than the Wii U one, in my opinion. Because in the Wii U one, you were, if you guys don't remember, you were a trophy that just went around and shit. Like, it was stupid. And then you had Smash Tour instead of Smash Run, which was garbage. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. They should be ashamed of themselves for even thinking that. Um, and so, like, yeah, the, the 3DS one was obviously the superior of the four, and it was cheaper, again, but also the best thing about Smash 4 as a whole, that means the 3DS and Wii U one, is that if you wanted a character on both the 3DS and the Wii U versions, you just had to pay a dollar more, that's amazing, like, that's awesome, bro, <laughs> like, hell yeah, that's freaking cool, I don't know, it's cool, it's, uh, yeah, so that was amazing, and, like, they even had good DLC characters, too, unlike Smash Ultimate. Um, so, yep, uh, here we are with uh, the 3DS one. Well, yeah, the Wii U one is actually what we're going to be at, and then it's still obviously an A tier because um, it, it has better gameplay than Brawl and everything, but too bad the features don't match. Now, of course, the online has been significantly improved by both of the Smash 4 on the 3DS and Wii U. But still, there none of them are A tier because of the fact that they do not have enough single player content to sustain it. All right, but again, to be fair to Smash Four on Wii U and 3DS, they have added a lot of characters, a lot of characters, and they actually revamped the physics and everything from Brawl. So yes, they did add some content there. But my p issue with that is that I only had like five or six characters that I really cared about. If I'm honest, you know. Like, yeah, the, the big character roster was nice, but then after you found, like, your, your main six that you play as, well, guess what? You don't care. <laughs> like, you don't care about the other characters anymore because you don't like the way they feel or their moves are not for you, you know? Like, there's a lot of stuff. So, with that being said, though, um, it still did add a lot from Brawl, but it decreased a lot, too. Like, it took two steps forward and ten steps back. Like, how the fuck did you not add a, 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 a cutscene mode? Oh, I'll tell you why he didn't, by the way. Because people people looked it up and, and um, what was it? They leaked it on YouTube. Ooh, boo-hoo. Go eat shit, Sakurai. Are you kidding me? Really? People still bought your game, you're, you dumbass. In fact, I bought Super Smash Bros. Brawl because I saw the cutscenes. You friggin' moron. You absolute moron. <laughs> so what, you took it out in Smash 4? Wow. That was, uh, that was just such a pathetic excuse to like add uh, less of a good um, feature in Smash 4. Like, you cannot add cutscenes and all that shit and, like, actually move on with the series in Brawl and then you just, like, shaft the rest of the series because of that. Like, ugh, whatever. And then, um, here we got Ultimate. Now, I don't want to give Ultimate an S, but, I don't know. You know what? I will put it above Smash for Wii U, but not 3DS. Um, so the reason why I do this is because, like, the Wii U one obviously had wor worse, like, features, um, but it has still the same physics as a 3DS one, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like the physics better in Smash 4 than Ultimate, so, yeah, look, this tier list, when it comes to a lot of you guys, I know is bad, and you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck, dude, what the actual hell is this tier list, but look, that's how I feel, and honestly, Ultimate does not deserve, um, to be S tier, and I'll tell you why right now, uh, a lot of the stuff that were even fine in Smash 4, like the customization, uh, some of the single player elements, like, um, uh, classic mode or whatever, were even worse in Ultimate, and, you know, like, their whole sticker mode, uh, like, their sticker story mode is what I like to call it, I don't really know what the hell it's called, some adventure mode where you, like, collect the characters and all that, it was fine, and yes, I even did, like, two uh, playthroughs of it, 
That's really because I had no other Switch game to play, I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> or no other games to play in general. Um, and the Switch being portable really helped out with that too, but something needs to be understood. He and he had to make Smash Ultimate Wars. It's not Sakurai's fault this time. Um, not fully, at least. Uh, but it was actually... Um, it, it sucks. Because... Uh, for the most part, it was actually Nintendo's fault with the fact that, yes, although the Switch was more capable, quote-unquote, than the Wii U, I don't, I wouldn't even say that, <laughs> but it, it, um, at the time when Ultimate was, was existing, they only had 16 gigabytes to work with. That's not enough when Smash 4 on the Wii U had 25, or around 25, you know? So, they had to cut a lot of stuff out. They couldn't just port a lot of the features from Smash uh, Smash Bros. from Wii U and 3DS, and then obviously they would have to, like, up them uh, from the 3DS one is what I mean, but they would have to, like, uh, make new models of it, you know, um, like, stages and stuff like that. They couldn't fit everything. So that's why, like, Sakurai had to make that shitty little sticker mode or whatever, and the customization being significantly hindered compared to even Smash 4, which I did not mention in Smash 4. Smash 4, you you had the option of two or three other customization moves from your like for your character when it comes to their special. Each of them had a, a more unique special move. Now, this was not the case with DLC characters, but that's okay. Everyone else, like the main cast in there all other 60 plus characters they had customized moves so yeah what that meant was that you you had different variants or again just completely different moves from characters so <laughs> that was a little bit better than oh here's a png of bayonetta and she has plus 10 attack and here's some sub stickers <laughs> What am I, an autist? I'm just, like, going around collecting stickers, bro? Like, I don't care about stickers. I don't care about your PNGs, bro. Like, but again, to be fair, I thought the whole time it was Sakurai just being inefficient and lazy. Um, but that's not the case. Again, that was fully Nintendo's fault. How the hell are you going to launch a console that has less data than the, than the Wii U? Like, bro, than less data to work with than the Wii U. That is so stupid. That's actually stupid. <laughs> Man, that's actually so dumb. But whatever. Uh, now, obviously, yes, they have more uh, disk or cartridge space, I think, to work with. I'm not really sure. So, but yeah, at the time, uh, Sakurai barely had 16 gigab gigabytes to work with. So, to be fair, it's not fully his fault that Ultimate was a downgrade from Smash 4, because it is. Um, find me on that. Uh, but, yeah, it was. <laughs> And also, when it comes to class of, uh, classic mode, it was heavily downgraded to the point where it, it wasn't randomized anymore, so you weren't having a different experience, for the most part, most of the time. It would be, like, fixed for each character, which sounds nice, but it's not. You do that with other stuff, man. Excuse me. Something like um, um, classic mode, you need the randomization, bro. You need that for it to be fun, you know? That's why no one's really looking at the, the Smash Bros. one-player mode and being like, oh, yeah, it's amazing, bro. No, no one cares about it. Because <laughs> for the most part, it was fixed. But even that had more randomization than, than Ultimate's class of, uh, classic mode. It's horrible. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. most of the single-player content in Ultimate. I'm not going to lie. And that is a huge factor to me. And then if you want to talk about online, bro, it's even worse than Smash 4. Like, okay. Here's how the ultimate worked, or here's how the old online worked in ultimate. You had the choice to like pick your rule set, yeah. But if you wanted the same like basic rule set that you had in Smash Four, well, there's a possibility that you might not get that, and you might connect with people with different rule sets online. So it's not like oh one v one only, and you don't have any items and blah blah blah. No, you could very well have items, even though that you said no items. So they didn't even. They didn't even fix that. Like, they made the online somehow worse. And then connection-wise, it was actually worse than Smash 4. It really was. I know this because, bro, I played Smash 4's online all the fucking time. So I know what I'm talking about when I say Smash, uh, Smash Ultimates was worse. Way worse. 
Now, later down the line, it got better, but even then, it still got horrible because every loser in the world would use, like, the latest uh, overpowered DLC character. Meanwhile, I'm over here rocking Little Mac and Donkey Kong and, <laughs> and fucking Charizard or Pokemon Trainer, right? Which, uh, Pokemon Trainer uh, isn't just Charizard anymore, obviously, like, now they put back Pokemon Trainer, so you had to get used to working with, uh, Squirtle and Ivysaur, which is a good change, that's a good change, because it actually adds variety to the character, I will admit, you know, so, I'm not gonna, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that, but you still had to get used to that, right, from Charizard, which I played a lot of in Smash 4, so, yeah, the old, the online was worse because everyone was using these dog shit overpowered characters, which I still beat them with a little Mac, but it wasn't a fun time. It wasn't, it wasn't a fun time, though, though. Like, really. So, yeah, fuck those stupid DLC characters, which are significantly worse. People bitched about Bayonetta. Well, try bitching about Joker, um, Pyra, and whatever the hell her name is. Um, and, uh, Min Min? I think that's her name. Um, and these other shitty overpowered DLC characters, they even have, like, what's his name, um, what's his dumbass name, like, the, the guy from Tekken, like, too fucking little too late there, buddy, <laughs> maybe if he was a character in Smash 4, I can understand that, because, yes, the same people who made Tekken, um, are, are, like, involved with the new Smash Bros, yes, the Smash 4 and Ultimate, but still, that does not mean for you to now add a Tekken representative, too fucking late for that, buddy. And then now he's shitty, overpowered, and uh, really annoying to deal with. Wow, what a shocker. Much like any other DLC character is. Most of them, at least. Um, like Joker and Pyra. Um, Byleth is okay, I guess. I never really had a lot of issues with that. Like, yeah, some of my matchups were bad, but eh, whatever. She wasn't horrible. And Banjo-Kazooie was not bad either to go against, you know? If people know how to use them, they deserve to get those wins. I'm not going to lie. Like, Banjo-Kazooie is a little bit hard to uh, to control. So, with that being said, that is the end of this um, tier list. Uh, let me know what, what you would rank these games from each rank. I don't know. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't, um, then I'll put I'll put melee in F. All right, see ya.